Okay, y'all. We're not going to wait a whole 10 minutes or anything like that. We'll just get it going here pretty quick. Thanks for everyone's patience today. Sorry that, you know, internet stuff is happening, basically. Wish I could uh, make it not be a bummer, but it's it's a bummer. So, um, but yeah, thanks for coming on back in. Um, and yeah, let's basically just jump back into it. No need to anything there so we're gonna go back into haku zoo uh we were pretty much done looking at the rest of it but we'll um still you know start there and everything so uh but yeah welcome back in everyone and thanks for your patience today as we are trying to get through this and everything <laughs> we'll uh we'll get there right we'll get there so um yeah i talked to my isp real quick they answered right away and they checked everything and they're like it looks it looks good everything's fine on your on, on our end and i'm like okay but i'm here to tell you that no it's not and so they ran it again they're like oh it does look like your upload is kind of glitching or uh, yeah they say glitching or like skipping or something like that he's like yeah it looks like your uploads glitching or slipping up a little bit there i'm like yeah <laughs> what do i do and he says like did the whole unplug it plug it back in and he's like it's still kind of doing it a little bit and i heard him typing a little bit on his end and he's like try it now and then it was fine i was like what did you do? <laughs> like, what, what did he type on his end to make it better? Like, did they accidentally hit the switch to be like, hey, give this user bad upload speed and see if he notices. Like, y'all in the shoot, he noticed. Give it back to him. <laughs> like, I, I don't know, but but it, it seemed to work. We did a quick test, and uh, thanks to those of you that joined us for our quick little test there, um, and it seemed to work out pretty good. So, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. But apparently, if you want to fix something, you just go... And then it fixes it real quick. <laughs> that, that's how you fix things when it comes to ISP. You tell people to restart their router and all that. And if it doesn't work, you do a... You type real quick and then it fixes it. So, <laughs> I don't know. who. Not going to question it, right? Yeah, what's up, everybody? Welcome back in. Welcome back in. So, yeah, we'll start with Hakuzu. We'll do the Hakuzu here real quick. And again, we're pretty well... Yeah, oh, good. It, it, like, it got us right where we wanted to be there. So um, we'll just finish up this tour here and then uh, move on from there. So yeah, we're, we're not going to go back and do the whole thing again because that would be like three times that we've done it. But um, yeah, we were looking at right here the... Um, yeah, the tigers. That's right. Or the lions. Excuse me. The lions there. So we had those. Very, very nice. Let's see. We, we were talking about the shaders and stuff. Yeah, okay. We're back into it now. We're back into it. And then in here, what did we figure out? was in here we figure out what was it oh yeah the um the cassowary was in here right yeah we had a cassowary in there and then let's see up over this way we had some turtles look at the little turtles or tortoises right i'm sorry not turtles or tortoises or tortoises there so <laughs> hey mrs smarty how are you doing welcome in yeah you missed the uh restarting the stream three times part you missed that so no worries there hope your uh, exam went well the other day by the way remember that you were having a bit of a kerfuffle with the exam coming up so hopefully that was going well there <laughs> so uh and then there's somewhere okay gotcha um let's see here we looked over here i think oh no no, these are new there you go we have the otters oh and we can actually show off a um a mod here as well with the otter habitat um so we can actually show off the north american river otter here hey mob how we doing but yeah, we can show off the North American River Otter if we have them in here. Let's see. These are not the... Oh, wait. Are you? Are you? Yeah, you're the. You're one of them. Yeah, there it is. There's the North American River Otter that uh, Nicholas Lion Rider made to show off here. Look at that. Look at this thing. This is what I... See, this is what I picture when I... Uh, when I picture otters, <clears throat> you know, like in zoos. I don't picture these things. These, I mean, these are kind of... These are... These are... These are... These are it's scary looking <laughs> but these cute guys this is what i think of when i think of otters in a zoo this is totally what i think of so good uh big shout out to nicholas lion rider and be sure to check down below in the description to get this mod into your zoo there so yeah the i don't know why frontier chose that one I, i'll be straight up I, I yeah very american of me but i don't know why they chose that because i've never seen one of those otters in a zoo before i guess in the houston zoo but um <coughs> oh excuse me sorry yeah, I, I always see North American river otters in zoos, so I, I don't understand that choice. It's kind of like Frontier was like, yeah, we could do that otter, but we're going to do the cool otter that no one really knows about because we're like hipsters. So they chose like the hipster otter like route, basically, is what I see. Yeah, they're nightmare fuel. Yeah, right, right. 
Oh, I'm happy about it. Oh, good. Good to hear, Mrs. Smarty. Um, all right, let's head over this way um, to this habitat. Oh, look at, the, look at the panda up there. Look at the, get down. Panda, stop it. Get, he's, I feel like he's going to jump and like hang out. Oh, I like this little sight line you have coming down here. I like the sight line of the black jaguar there you have. Yeah. Uh, no worries, Heather. It's definitely a much better option. Yeah, the, yeah, I know. It's like, I don't understand. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, we, uh, hopefully it's working again. Uh, again, just for those of you that just, uh, got back in the stream, I, yeah, I called my ISP. They said it looks fine on their end. I said, no. Nah. They checked again. They're like, oh, you're right. They, I restarted my router. It was still not good. And then they went and typed and then it was working again. I, I don't, I don't know. So apparently you, you fix things by going like typing really quick and then it fixes it. So, um, but yeah, no, we're back in the first zoo still by Haku. So <laughs> I, I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, this is still Haku's uh, zoo there. Yep. So here's our pandas. Look at this panda habitat. Panda tat is the, is the quick version way of saying, it. oh, look, yeah, you have this little interior section here too. Oh no, it's like a bridge. Ah, it's like a bridge. What's on the interior here? Interior here. Oh, they can actually get up in here. Nice. <coughs> Excuse me. A little jumpy. It did. It is saying it's doing it again. What the hell? It doesn't seem like it's that bad. So what's? It's still stuttering. It is doing it again. Oh my god. I'm gonna throw Comcast in front of a moving freight train. All of Comcast. Anything associated with Comcast. Or no, it's not Comcast. Xfinity. Anything ex associated with Xfinity, I'm going to throw in front of a moving freight train. <laughs> I just, I don't know what to do. It looks like it's evening out a little bit, so. Um, but okay, I think that is mainly... Hey, Micah. I think that's mainly... You said there's a pangolin habitat here. I don't see it. It's sneaky. It's sneaking. It's it's sneaky there. Let's see. It's it's not that, though. It's It's saying it's... It's not because it's a big zoo. And on my end, I'm getting like 25, 30 frames. I don't know. It's better now. Yeah, I think it'll get better now. I think it'll be better. Can't you see that it's better now? By the reindeers? Okay. I don't know where the reindeers are, so. <laughs> it's at the bisons. Oh, okay. I don't know where the bisons are either. Um, I'm only gonna guess for a little bit. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, you'll all, all have to find the uh, pangolin habitat there. So, but overall, yeah, we've um we've gone ahead and toured all these uh, different parts of the zoo there in different um streams. So if you want to go back and take a look at that, you can. Or be sure to download this zoo to uh, get a first close up uh, look at it. I'm all I'm all out of sorts. I can't even talk now. <laughs> I can't even talk now in the back of my mind. I'm like, wait, is the internet good or not? Uh, but anyways, yeah, there is Haku's uh, zoo there. So go ahead and download that, uh, subscribe and favorite it and all that fun stuff there. Nice. So they're over there. Yeah, I know. I'm not, <laughs> I can't spend the entire stream trying to find them, unfortunately. So, <laughs> but cool. So yeah, there it was Poultra Zoo by Haku. Up next, we're going to do, everything has to rhyme with ooh. Uh, up next, we're going to do... Let's see here. We're going to do Paleo Park because it's first. We're going to do Paleo Park by Leaf here. So this is the first of many things we're going to see by Leaf today. Leaf, do you have something in everything? No, you don't have a blueprint to show off. You don't have a blueprint. But yeah, Leaf almost got the three the three P club with the blueprint. But Leaf has a mod and a zoo to uh, show off. So yeah, this is Paleo Park. And I think we're going to see a lot of uh, Leaf's um paleo mods that they made in here as well oh speaking of leaf um you never let me know if you updated that file or not so i don't know if the penguin the ancient penguin is good to go or not so <laughs> um but yeah since you didn't get back to me i'm assuming that it wasn't good to go so we'll look at that next week all right whoa look at this holy cow you did a lot of landscaping here we're gonna look at that first there's a whole bunch of uh terraforming and stuff going on here what's up martin how are you doing there Almost had that trifecta, that's right. <laughs> yeah, look at this terraforming going on here. 
awesome 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 let's see here so where are we starting oh it looks like you start down here this reminds me of a zoo that i went to in um denver or not denver in uh just outside of denver where it was like a mountaintop zoo where you parked at the bottom kind of thing and had to work your way up is this using campaign map oh is that what it is oh okay this is using a campaign map gotcha this is the frontier landscaping from the oh okay <laughs> it's, a, it's a career one not gotcha yeah i i have never played the career in uh planet zoo so i couldn't tell you that um but yeah up top here oh look at this retaining wall look at that retaining wall that is choice it's choice bro um really really good use of the oh you know what we just saw some of this flooring in simply savannah's shell build uh zoo right you use some of this flooring there it looks like that um like that squishy like playground material what's it called like that's made out of um, broken up tires and stuff that you can like jump on a little bit anyways kind of looks like that material um so yeah really nice entrance to your zoo here love the playground this is awesome this is really really well done with um some of your like urchins and stuff that yeah yeah you made all these things nice <laughs> what's career mode yeah it's it's where you never mind <laughs> what's a career mode indeed this is really good is this some of just goron's um modular playground or did you build all this from scratch there is really really good yeah tarmac uh ah, not so much tarmac tarmac is still hard there's like this material i'm thinking of that is um yeah it's a bunch of broken down rubber bits like rubber tires and they condense it down into a flooring for playgrounds usually so oh uh, yeah really detailed just wanted to jump into it nice hell yeah then here we have hello penguins uh oh i think this is supposed to be your ancient penguin isn't it yeah that didn't work that's still that didn't work or i didn't download the right one still so this is supposed to be um i don't think it's gonna work when you download it today either it's supposed to be an ica dipetus <laughs> i don't know it's a it's a prehistoric penguin that's what it's supposed to be in there but it's, it's not there it is ica dipetus can't we just have normal names can't you just call it like old penguin like or really old penguin i think that's that's more so what you do um but yeah look at this very very nice really nicely done for the entrance of a zoo and then up top there up top you have this little backstage area and everything really nice backstage stuff yeah i hope that link works or i think you're gonna update it soon oh look at the uh, tile wall or the yeah from a wiser there <laughs> i think that leaf is going to update it because yeah as of right now it's not working um properly that old penguin mod there so you know you know how to pronounce it either okay yeah we'll just go with that then the ica <laughs> it doesn't even sound like a real word nice let's see is that it for now like okay so that is it for now just that little oh, oh no it's not because we have this too look at this what's this what's this I don't even know. It's like a mountain research base. Are there are animals in here too. Nice. Here we have the. Oh, okay. So here's the. These worked. This is the Ichthyostegus and that thing. And this worked. This is a mod that replaces the. Um, what is it? The Gila monster. Right? It replaces the. Or, no, sorry. The Nile monitor. <laughs> it replaces the Nile monitor with this old primordial ooze looking thing i don't know if we're gonna be able to find it where is it leaf leaf where is it now i know we're in jurassic park you can't find any of the animals it's just like jurassic park and stuff like that <laughs> all right hold on let me try and bring it up this way here we go oh they're all in boxes what the, what are you doing down here don't don't go down there go to your home you're crazy Where'd they go? Yeah, they they all went in the uh, ground. <laughs> they they all went uh, they all went into the ground. I'm so confused why the game is doing this. <laughs> game, why why are you the way that you are? Now where are you? Okay, they all got out. <laughs> I think they all got out. Let's, I want to, I gotta, we gotta show them off though here. So let's see if we can't get them to, there you go. Right them over there. Okay. So they're really confused. Something's going on there, Leaf. You gotta, uh, you gotta kind of look at that. So, um, all right, well, there's the start of Paleo Park and we will see updates from that. Uh, I'm sure in the months to come there. So nice.
Teddy said, yeah, it's a little bit all over the place. We gotta get a we gotta get, you know, get a focus thing here. Um, cool, so the next zoo we're gonna go ahead and take a look at is gonna be, let's see, here we go, Beezy. Beezy's gonna rein us in here. <laughs> I know he is, because I took the screenshot for the thumbnail there, so I know that Beezy Zoo is all good and no animals are out and all that fun stuff so <laughs> but yeah no let's be fun to watch paleo zoo evolve over time there definitely so this is going to be rise of the planet of the apes parts one and two by our favorite bz bz is always coming in hot with some awesome stuff there and um when we load in here i know that we're going to see two Two different builds for this so this is all based off of the rise of the planet of the apes uh series so if you haven't seen that this might seem a little random to you or whatever um but yeah this is all based off that um recent trilogy that came out um so yeah the first thing that we see here this is the first pass uh bz wrote me a little note that said that they wanted to show off both attempts that they did um at this there so this is the first attempt here which I would have already been like, yeah, that's really good. But since it's busy, they were like, you know what? I can do a little bit better. But uh, so here's the exterior here um, of the rise of the planet of the apes uh, structure. Love the, and then the interior here. Look at this interior. This is so cool. <laughs> this is so cool. Yeah, this is really, really, really well done. I love all the, um, the shade and everything. So yeah, this is kind of the first pass through um, of the rise of the uh planet of the apes there really really i know right is that crazy it was a year ago that you built this nice so about when um just about when the game came out then right so that's your first pass uh hold, so on one second got a text from the wife <laughs> So there it is. No, uh, no apes in here or anything, but uh, that we'll see them later on. But look at all the little details and everything in here. That's awesome. Yeah, damn. <laughs> so keep this in mind. How amazing this is, right? And now let's move forward here. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's move forward to the next little, um, the take two, the take two. And you hear a lot of builders talk about this all the time. Um, essentially. I'll make sure I come in the correct way here. But essentially, um, yeah, redoing your thing. Redoing um, something that you built. It is not a big deal to do that. What are those? What are these? But yeah, redoing um, exhibits, whole areas of zoos, all that fun stuff. Uh, not unheard of. Hey, BZ, I found your secret. <laughs> what do I get? Do I get like... <clears throat> Do we get a do we get a prize? Do I get a prize? I think I found a prize. I got I got a prize now. Like a gold coin or something. <laughs> um, excuse me, there's a better version, right, Harry? Right? So here's this little like town area, I guess you'd say, little um pre-area. Which I love that you have this little bison uh buffalo ranch or something like that. Um <laughs> you don't know what those are? Yeah, right. <laughs> it happens. Um oh look at the landscaping here. Look at the, oh wow, that looks so good. Especially like this, oh, there it is, right? There it is. Just all the sight lines. All the sight lines, as we come up here, just play like the Rise of the uh, Planet of the Apes theme music as you come up here. <clears throat> and here you go, here is the the primate shelter. So this is where they were holding, um, Oh, I haven't seen those movies in so Caesar, right? Caesar was his name. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, this is where they're holding Caesar when they had to give him away the person. Look at this structure. I love how it looks. Love the way that this looks there. Rocks my hair, bow. There you go. Yeah, th this is this is insane. This is insane. Just love how um, utilitarian it looks and everything. Let's go inside here real quick. And of course, there's an amazing interior here. Oops, sorry, one second. My wife is sending me a few texts here. You're invited for your first dose. Sunday, February 21st. That's today. From 11 p.m. 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. while supplies last. Oh, cool. My wife just got the text to go get her um, COVID vaccine from 11 a.m. to 2. They just text her now. They're like, hey, go get it now. <laughs> okay, that's random, but okay. Look at this interior. Holy cow. This is This is insane. This is actually kind of insane 
Look at the little prop door and everything. See, that that's when you know it's really good. Is I, uh, for a hot second, didn't even, like, realize that this was an in-game built door with, like, pieces that we have. That's great. Like, you even have, like, the little, like, lock mechanism and stuff. Beezy, stop it. <laughs> Just stop it. Okay. Wow, a little desk where they would uh, sit there and, like, you know, talk to him, try and sign and everything. Yeah. Andy Circus. Yeah, Andy Circus. There you go. Hey, what's up, uh, Tatanka? What's up, buddy? Good to see you again. Holy smoke -roonies. Here we go. Here, here's the main attractions. There are the apes. Apes together. Strong. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, we're, we're going to get there. We're going to get there. We just have to see all these other amazing bits. Hey, just Goron. Some of his um, awesome blueprints have made it in here. Good stuff there. Okay, let's turn around and head out. Um, I want to explore the rest of the outside. Then we'll look at the inside there. I want to look at all the backstage little bits and fun bots here bits and bobs nice look at this little smoking section and stuff and then we're gonna head inside very nice all right let's head in through the main entrance there again i just wanted to see all the um the exterior and here we are here we go oh jeez look at this y'all just the vibrance of the rocks and the, the little facades that they make in the background there a uh, little gorilla shack holy smoke roonies yeah i'm gonna have to go back and watch this movie again i i i'm i can't remember exactly what this place looks like but i'm gonna assume that you did your homework because <laughs> it looks amazing this is just whoa monkey yeah look at the monkeys Look at the monkeys and then here we have a little backstage section here look at that where they can uh come up and now who was oh it was draco right draco malfoy was the one that was uh part of this i don't know the actor's real name but yeah draco malfoy he he was the one that kind of got um was a little pissy about the uh apes and stuff like that okay i'm starting to remember it a little bit here look at these little security cameras too <laughs> those are so good oh man so there you go. Oh no, I want to make sure I didn't miss any backstage. Looks like there's some backstage over here. Yeah, look at this. Look at this. Tom Felton. Oh, okay. I've never heard his name before. So that is literally the first time I think I've seen his name other than Draco Malfoy. So wow, wow, wow. All the backstage stuff. Wouldn't expect anything less from BZ there. <laughs> and then you pop out here. Look, and the doors actually work. Like it's actually, you know, goes in through the door and stuff. It's a door that actually works. So, holy cow. And then, um, let's see. We have some windmills going on there. What was it? Oh, here it is. Oh, yeah. I saw you were doing something else here. Look, he has a partially built up uh, bridge and everything. That's awesome. BZ, as always, you just do amazing stuff there. There you go. That's that's where the that's where the scene's supposed to be, right? There. That's where the picture is, right? <laughs> so, did I miss anything? BZ, let me know. Did I miss anything? What's up, Level Wolf? How you doing? Hey, Bold so many streams at the same time yeah well this is like our third attempt at the uh, stream there so you, it, it's probably a good thing that it ran a little bit later there so but BZ let me know if I missed anything buddy before we head out but otherwise this is just amazing yeah and again remember this is the second pass through right we already had this first one over here that was really 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 well done and then you have this second pass through that has an entire like area and interior and all that fun stuff it's really well done you hit it all and nice dude yeah always look forward to seeing um awesome bz builds there so yeah as always and with all of these projects there be sure to uh go down below find the project uh favorite it subscribe to it like it all that fun stuff and uh show some support to that amazing amount of detail that is awesome that is awesome do, 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 do. Rocks are a bit too orange. They're pretty, pretty orange rocks, though, right? It was kind of a cool stylistic choice, I think. <laughs> kind of a cool stylistic little choice there. So cool. Let's go ahead. Saw Paleo Park. Saw Rise of the Planet of the Let's go to uh, Oakwood Zoo. Oakwood Zoo. Uh, from. Their name is different on Discord. One second. Let me take a quick hot look at Rooney. I think this is a work in progress. This is a work in progress zoo as well. There it is. No. Oh, it's Jake! It's Jake! <laughs> Jake, yeah, that's your zoo! 
Nice, buddy. All right, let's go ahead and zoom back a little bit. I always like to start near the front there if they have a car park and stuff. Yeah, here we go. So Jake Zoo, very good there. Let's go ahead and take a look at the first part of Oakwood Zoo. What is this going on? What is that? Oh, it's the Palsley character. Gotcha. This little VW bug there. That's uh, that's funny. I've never seen that before. That's awesome. Hey, Savannah, how was the rest of your stream? I had to leave right when you were showing off my exhibit. I was sitting there like looking at the time. I was like 1045, it's like 1047. And it's like, and here's Drew's exhibit. I was like, I gotta go. <laughs> well, hopefully you had a good rest of the stream there. Uh, good to see you there. So yeah, the internet is working. Gosh, what a bummer, man. It was just being a really big bummer. So um, but yeah, we are back. We are good to go. Good to see you. And welcome anyone that was watching Savannah's stream. Now that we have your full attention. <laughs> to uh, Welcome to Oakwood Zoo from Jake. I like this little, um, this little path that winds over here. A little nature path. Yeah, look at it. That's awesome. A nice little car park as well. Look at everyone trying to go get their tickets and um, food and stuff before they come here. I love all the vibrant colors you have going on here. You have the, the Oakwood Zoo uh, sign and everything. Very vibrant. Very vibrant with that kind of uh, forest vibe as you come in here. So let's head on in. Oh, look at the lake and everything. You know what you should get? And, <laughs> um, it's uh, some of uh, Mealy's and... Uh, Drox and ZZ's little uh, ducks and geese and stuff to put around here. That look great. I love that little uh, lake as you come in here. Very naturalistic there. So. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Um, I was talking about how it was frustrating for you, internet. Oh, I, and it's so frustrating, like, and I get so frustrated with it because it's not like there's anything that like I did or like, you know, whoever, whenever you have internet issues, it's not something that you did. It's just, that's happening. And you're just like, Ah, what do I do? <laughs> I can't fix it. You have to do it. I'm paying you. Just do it. <laughs> oh, look at the lemurs over here. I love all your foliage. Really good work on your foliage there. Hey, um, speaking of Savannah's stream, uh, uh, Estan, right? Estan built a little something like this. Coming soon. We have elephants coming soon. Um, and I love the little construction fences you have there. But yeah, look at the uh, lemurs here running around. Really nice um, white tail. Oh, we have both of them. Red tail and white tail. Um... Is it tail? Are they called white tail and red tail? Yeah, tail lemurs. Um, yeah, really, really nice building there. Look at the little backstage area too for them. Oh, and a nice interior too. Nice. Very good. Awesome. How do we get out of here? There we go. So there is the lemur building and the lemur um, habitat and everything there. Yeah, really nice entrance, right? I like the uh, naturalistic feel of it. So yeah, and then coming soon. Oh, looks like we have uh, Australia coming soon as well. So you can look forward to some Australia and uh, some elephants. I'm not sure if they're African or Indian, but um, can look forward to that in the future. So awesome. Let's back up over this way. Yeah, really like this entrance area. Very um, awesome Northwoods kind of feel. So let's go. Oh, look at this building. I love this building. Uh, really rustic here oakwood lodge oh let's open the lodge it looks like a eatery here does it say yeah it is nice nice little restaurant oh, i love the way that this feels with the, your uh, gardening all of your gardening and foliage work in front there is really really well done you have nailed that kind of rustic oh look at that scene right there you have nailed that rustic um north woods vibe yeah really good uh, da -da 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 Dylan's World sounds good. Whenever you finish it up, go ahead and submit it to our Discord in the community showcase area there, and we will show it off. Definitely. Love all your little planters here. Good use of uh, foliage. Good, good use of foliage there. The weeping willows and stuff. What do we have here? Oh, we have the um, Gariels. I always forget the name of these things. The Gariels there. Nice little Gariel habitat. <laughs> awesome. Good stuff there. Probably African elephants, you thinking, Jake? <clears throat> Let's head over this way. Ooh, look, we're going, coming into a harbor theme here. I'm going to do a little bit of a harbor theme. What do we have? Of course we have some seals. <laughs> some arf arfs. There they are, being a bunch of lazy bums. I love your colors here. This, like, off gray with the red and blues. Um, that looks really, really good. I love that coloring there. But yeah, look at our little arf arfs there. Our little, uh, our sea dogs. <laughs> snoozing of course they're taking a little snooze and good use of all the new um, aquatic pack um, items there yeah again your um, your planters I really love your planters all the little curbing you did here and stuff really good use of all the aquatic pack stuff 
Very, very nice. Is there like an interior here? Or is this like backstage for the... Yeah, it goes into some backstage there. Nice. Yeah, the lazy bums. <laughs> the little lazy bums. Looks like over here we have some coldness going on. What's going on over here? Oops, sorry, one second. All right, coming over this way. Coming soon, we're gonna have, oh, coming soon are the otters and uh, them there. Awesome, <laughs> cool. Over this way, we must have the penguins there. So we have our entire aquatic section, uh, aquatic pack section all done up there. Very nice. See. Hey, why'd they break the table? You bunch of jerk. I've never seen that before. Okay, I want this graffiti like as just in game. Like I, I've never seen them do graffiti like that before. Um, I just kind of want that like as a piece in game that we can do because that looks really good. Um, yeah, really nice king uh, penguin habitat there. So. Let's see, back up a little bit, make sure we didn't miss anything. Oh yeah, I see your future planning there. Awesome stuff. And yeah, I think that is so far what we have from Oakwood Zoo. So very, very good stuff there, Jake. And I uh, can't wait to see all the future expansions you have planned um, in future streams there. So yeah, good job, good job there. Let's head on over to the next stream. Everyone be sure to subscribe there, look at all the details, uh, favorite it and like it there, yeah. I would love that as a deacon. So it's that's to say, like uh, Leaf and Lion Rider, um, are two modders there. That is in game though, right? That graffiti piece that's in game somewhere for them to have it on there, or because I was just thinking, like, can you like get that out of the game <laughs> and like let us, you know, mess with it? So next up, we have our last Paleo Rise Oakwood Poultra Taiga. Yeah, this is our last zoo, and it's gonna be by D H Roof, seventeen forty nine, Seth. This is from Seth there. And if memory serves right, Mr. Seth, this is the first time we've seen a full zoo from you. Uh, normally we see a lot of little blueprint items, little workshop items from uh, Seth, but I don't think we've ever seen a full on zoo. So this is pretty exciting to see what we're gonna get from. Oh, you shared pictures of this on our Discord. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, people are saying everyone owns the same black car in, uh, in this zoo, but yeah. Um, Seth was sharing some pictures of this on our Discord channel there, which is, it's always fun whenever um, people submit things to the community showcase, but they also share pictures in the um, Planet Zoo share your work area, because it's kind of fun to see the final uh, product at the community showcase time as they've been sharing pictures throughout the week and stuff. So yeah, here we go. We have Taiga Zoo, uh, Taiga Park Zoo from Ruve here from Seth. So let's head on in to here. We have a nice little entrance building um and you have very very lush entrance um area here yeah i remember you shared these pictures on there of the gharials and stuff so you walk into this little gharial habitat that you're immediately uh over top of that's such a cool idea um that's such a um cool idea there you have a little sandbar in the middle there is that a little mini one? Oh my gosh i've never seen a baby gharial before look at you dude you are the creepiest looking thing i've ever seen wow you are literally like i, I know you are nightmare fuel you, Gariels are the weirdest creature I've, I've seen. Like, it's a dinosaur that has like, like a bird beak for a nose. They're the weirdest animal. So, but, but anyways, that's really cool. The cutest Gariel. I can't even say that it's cute. I can't even. It's, it's, it's something. But the habitat itself there, that's a really cool idea there. So, awesome. Next up. Next up, is the internet doing it again? Yeah, I don't I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I'm getting whatever. So um, next up we have flamingos. Look at the flamingos here. Um, they're not at the front of the zoo, so it's not quite a real zoo, but Seth is almost on their way to having a real zoo. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, look at this, I have the little uh, planter here. I love the little planter. It's almost like alien species here with the rock colors and stuff there. So, um, I think it's YouTube lately. Well, maybe that's what it is because, again, I'm looking at my speed test right now. It's fine. 
it's completely fine. <laughs> so I don't know. We're on the world's slowest zoo, or the, uh, not the world's, but we're on a small zoo too. Anyways, I'm not even gonna worry about it. Let's just not even bring up the fucking internet anymore. Um, so here we have some tortoises. Very nice. And, oh yeah, let's go over to this aviary. I think it's an aviary. Oh no, it's not. It's gonna be something else here. Oh no, it's like a little koi pond and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it's a quite oh look you even have some like flying butterflies and stuff that's awesome <laughs> that's pretty awesome so a lot of um things here used from drock and zz and mealy and them but yeah a little aviary and a little butterfly house as well very well done very well done let's see what else here we we have the s dan wolf um oh gosh we gotta trim some of the bushes here. We gotta we gotta go through and trim some of the bushes there. We have the penguin palace. Let's see here. Whoa. Yeah, so big old in, uh, king penguin exhibit there. Nicely done. Nicely done. Let's see here, I have a nice little uh, camel habitat there. Cool, 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 cool. Get the Make a Wish Foundation barnyard here. Was this like our children's zoo, I guess? Yeah, look at all the little barnyard animals off the side there. Yeah, look at all the different animals. That's nice. Cool. You have a little interior too, partially done. Cool, cool, cool. Um, have a little boat area here. Yeah, so you get boat tours, I guess. <laughs> cool. So, all right. Well, there is Seth's um, partially done uh, zoo there, the Taiga Zoo. So, yeah, we will see updates from that um, more so in the future there. So, cool. Let's head out of here. And we're going to head into the final little bit there. The final little bit. So, that was all the main zoos that we had to look at. Um, now, it's time to look at the um, blueprints and everything. Yeah, the dome's pretty good there, right? Yeah, the dome's pretty cool. All right, so next up, let's see here. Yeah, there it is, Community Showcase. <sighs> Tried yesterday, Bold, and it just dropped everything. Oh, really? Yeah, I don't know. I I've been having these issues since Friday. I've never had issues like this before. But, um, I don't know. <laughs> Just at this point, it's kind of like, I don't know. I have no idea. So, cool. All right. So, welcome to the um, blueprint section here. So, remember, these are all items that you can go ahead and throw into your zoos um, right away there. So, uh, yeah, the first few bits here are from Lucas. Lucas 070. So, the first thing here is the animal hospital from Lucas there. And this is really, really well done. Uh, those of you that want to get some cool backstages coming along, um, you can get this animal hospital put in there. And he even has an interior and everything here. So come in here, you have your nice interior there. Awesomely well done. Even has, you know, look at all this. <laughs> all this uh, really cool backstage stuff. Yeah, really well done. And it's working too, right? It's actually working as well too. So there's like a, a vet there and everything. So... <laughs> here we go. Yep, very nice. This is really well done. Look at all the different backstage stuff. So there you go. Um, so very good for your backstage. And then um, speaking of backstage, we also have the backstage props. Yeah, we have backstage props here. So you can make a little, oh, this is awesome. This is perfect. Make a little locker section there. Um, this little meeting, a uh, little board and everything. Oh, that's awesome. This is all from, uh, I think, a zoo that he showed, Windor Zoo. I'm pretty sure we saw this in Windor Zoo or it was from the exhibit that they showed last week. Um, Andrew's movie. We are, yeah, we're going a little bit quicker today just because um, the internet is in the back of my head and yeah, it's just, a, it's just a different circumstance today with the community zoo. Not the way I wish today's stream would be going. <laughs> so uh, up next we have from Sawdust. We have Sawdust here has given us the, uh, there it is, the air hockey table. We have the air hockey table from uh, Sawdust Dioramas and this is going in their um, little like carnival fair ground type 
build that they're doing but um yeah we have the two uh the two franks facing off each other but yeah i love the scale of this this is great <laughs> this is great so um yeah if you all are building any arcades or anything like that um you can definitely put it in there is it all slanted over a little bit i think the whole thing is slanted oh no it's not it's just one of the pieces but never mind never mind um but yeah that's an awesome little arcade piece there so <laughs> yeah yeah wait i'm good uh, backstage items are always very welcome so next up we have from zizi um, from ZZ here, we have four different birds, four different, um, birds to go ahead and throw into your zoos there. So, um, the first of which is the Rosette Spoonbill here. This looks awesome. And again, like I always mention it, but anytime uh, that I see like, um, from Oakwood Zoo, from Jake's Zoo that we just saw, any like lakes or anything like that, like natural lakes, I always think like, man, you should put some of those, uh, maybe not the Spoonbills, but some, uh, natural little, um, fowl around it and stuff. But yeah, here's the Rosette Spoonbill. Uh, we have the blue uh, petrel. <clears throat> we have the um, snowy owls here as well. <laughs> I love the snowy owls. They're great. <laughs> the snowy owls are perfect. Um, the red-billed hornbill as well. So there's the four um, different birds from ZZ there. So really well done. And uh, every week whenever we uh, see something from ZZ, we're always getting some uh, new birds or new small mammals or something awesome there. So really big shout out to um, ZZ there. Oh no, the internet's still... Whatever, I gotta stop looking at it. <laughs> We're just gonna plow through it. I'm just, it's whatever. <laughs> We're just gonna plow through it. All right, uh, up next we have from Rue, from Seth there. Speaking of the bird theme, um, we have some, let's see here, what are these? The uh, bird's nest. <laughs> we have the bird's nest from uh, Seth there. So there you go, can kind of uh, make a little scene with some of the birds from ZZ and then have a little bird nest there from Seth. So there is that. Um, we have a little <clears throat> implied exhibit as well. So this almost looks like the, <clears throat> excuse me sorry this almost looks like the exhibit box we have in game already i think it's about the same size too um just went ahead and made a little um yeah a little plant area for it i guess or a little uh custom box for it there um we also have in the series from seth the uh, dinosaur diorama series we have the dimetrodon the Dimitridon. <laughs> I think I'm pronouncing that right. But yeah, Seth has a bunch of these um, up there, uh, these little dioramas. So if you're making a uh, like Jurassic uh, Park or anything like that, you can go ahead and place these down everywhere. So very, very well done from Seth there. These nice three um, items there. So very good. Very, very good. <laughs> um, next we have from Wiser. Where did we just see Wiser? Oh, we just saw from Wiser in... Uh, savannah shell build zoo there was a uh, a wiser education education center i believe but yeah wiser has um given us this awesome trash scene here and like this is great i love i don't i love these little scenes like this like <laughs> boom there you go you have like the little rat here eating out of the uh chinese chinese food box there um the graffiti like it just looks so good i love the how gritty it got here um the plaster here that's how you do this you have the brick wall the little plaster bits up next to it to look like it's all uh, broken out and everything it's so good um <clears throat> but uh yeah so there's a bunch of little uh, cool things here uh, that you can kind of take inspiration from or even just kind of use in your own zoo so you can kind of take these and uh use all of these in your own zoos there but i love that little rat <laughs> chewing out of the um Chinese food box there. So yeah, really awesome scene there. A little trash scene there from Wiser. So yeah, get that and uh, use a lot of those things in your zoos there. I can, I can almost picture like a backstage area, right? Like let's say you have like a city zoo and maybe your zoo like butts up, up right against like the um, the city back uh, landscape or anything like that. You can almost picture like uh, some of the backstage areas, maybe having some graffiti or just like a little alleyway um, that you can incorporate this in there. So uh, being one the nicer, yeah, none the wiser. Yeah, right? Um, hey, what's up uh, because? puts up because awesome there's some riser then from just goron we have the weekly update of just goron's um beaks bergen signs there so here's volume two of just goron's well, you know what i think this is actually a little bit too far down I need to lift this up a little bit but yeah um every week just goron uh, gives us little updates of the uh signs that they are making there so here are some of the amazing signs remember this is volume two right this is volume two um of these sides there's, there's a volume one as well and this is still a work in progress if not i think it might be almost done i think he said that there was only like one more week or two more weeks to go and they were going to be done there so really good from oh hey we have some uh, <laughs> i saw those fireworks still there um really good stuff from just goron as always and oh was that it was that it it was 
cool yeah no just Gordon is always uh, smashing it right so there's all the blueprint items there that you all can uh download some really good backstage stuff overall there's some really good backstage stuff to uh kind of mess with today so awesome 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 you missed it well we'll do it again ready just go on just go on and make signs everyone there we go <laughs> um awesome well let's go ahead and move over to the mods here is that an escaped how are you escaped how did you escape I don't understand. Are you a female? You are. That's a mod. Um, I don't know how that thing escaped. <laughs> so anyways, here are our mods for the day. So today's featured mod creators are gonna be Crocs, Leaf, and Nicholas Lionrider there. So let's go ahead and see what they have to offer to us today. So the first one we're gonna look at is from Crocs. So this is a, Crocs is a new modder, at least to um, our community showcase there. Um, and they have given us the uh, Sumatran Tiger. Now this replaces the Bengal Tiger in, the Bengal female Tiger in game. And oh, that's how they can get out. <laughs> I'm just sitting here like, they can't get out. It's a concrete wall. How can they get out? What the heck? And then that that's how they get out. But yeah, so this is a Sumatran Tiger. Um, and yeah, this replaces the Bengal Tiger in game there. So yeah, a big shout out to Crocs, new, um, at least to my knowledge, new uh, modder uh, to the community there. So yeah, that is awesome, awesome stuff there uh, from Crocs. So, hey, next, what's up there? Yeah, there's Crocs. <laughs> uh, yeah, big jumpers, right? So, all right, next up we have from Lion Rider, and we saw this already once, but I want to show it off again, just kind of willy nilly. But look at the look at the giant river otter. Oh, it's so much better looking than the the Frontier version. This is just so much better looking than the one that we got from Frontier. Um, but yeah, here is the adorable giant river otter there from Nicholas Lion Rider. It replaces the um, current otter that we have in game there so <laughs> um yeah yeah we did haribo yep we did that was the first thing we showed off in stream today buddy so can i pet it yeah right oh it's so good so there is that from lion rider really adorable i want to put that everywhere so next up we have from leaf where's the goopy thing leaf there they are there it is we have from leaf here we have the ichthyostega it's the Ich, ich, uh, ich Thyostega by Leaf. So this is a, and I have the description here saved. Oh no, no I don't. I got rid of it on accident. Um, but it is a primordial animal, right? It's like one of the first animals. Is it okay? Can, some, can we can I poke it with a stick? Let me find the other one. But yeah, this is like um, a prehistoric animal because for uh, Leaf's Paleo Zoo there. Where's the other one? There it is. No, it's not. I know I may have two. I think the tigers ate the other one. Is that a thing? Anyways. <laughs> Ichthyostega. Thank you. One of the first tetrapods. Oh, that's awesome. So yeah, this will go really, really well in any of your paleo parks there. Um, and yeah, I can't wait to see how this uh, how this looks in the... Oh, there it goes. Look at that creepy little thing. Look at that creepy little thing. <laughs> <coughs> that's that's a uh, that's interesting look <laughs> so there is that thing and then oh yeah that's right and the uh penguins are supposed to be the ancient the prehistoric penguins but i don't think I, I didn't download the uh mod in time so we'll have to show that off next week leaf everything that just happened with uh the internet complications i didn't get, get it downloaded so we'll show that off next week so um but yeah overall um, I believe, yeah, that is all of the um, mods there uh, for this. <laughs> they keep jumping in and out. That's kind of funny. So um, like we always do with our mods, <clears throat> let's go ahead and we'll bless you. Oh, I can't do it until you're back in there. Let's make them Meggy Bees. We'll make the mods Meggy Bees there. There we go. <laughs> so, all right, let's first make the giant river otter a Meggy Bee. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Look at that plumper. <laughs> it's such a plumper. Holy smokes. It's still more adorable than the one that Frontier gave us. I love it. <laughs> it's a beaver. Yeah, it's basically a beaver. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. All right, and then we'll go ahead and get the... 
Oh, the kitty got so plump. The kitty got so plump. Hi, buddy. Hello, little kitty. You can't jump over the wall. Don't try and tell me that. <laughs> He's adorable. Yeah, right? Look at the little... The little plump, plumpy kitty cat. All right, there's that guy. And then... Where is our... There it is. No, 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 it's not. Where's the... Uh, oh, here it is. This thing doesn't like to move much. <laughs> it doesn't like to move too much. Oh! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It, it really didn't like that. <laughs> it didn't like that at all. It looks like it, it like has boop coming out of it. It's like too... It got too full and now it's like starting to... That's, that's where it poops. Oh. Something... The Nile monitor is, start, is trying to come out. <laughs> I think I think that's what's happening. Let me try some real quick. I feel as though it's maybe stuck over here. <laughs> it's it, it's something something happened. It went wrong. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, there are our Meggy B uh, <laughs> animals up there. So, yeah, be sure to check out um, all of the modded in animals there. The Sumatran tiger, the North American river otter, the um, Ick. Wait, where was your? Oh, it's gone. Ick the Stega. And, um, and then, yeah, Leaf should have the penguin updated, too, for y'all to uh, get there as well. So, hey, yeah, um, sorry that it was kind of a bummer. It was a little bit of a bummer of a uh, showcase. I'm glad we were able to showcase things, but I know the internet's been going back and forth with being bad, basically. And um, we kind of had to rush through it a little bit because this is like our fourth time trying to get this uh, working there. So, yeah, apologies for the stream being weird this week. Hopefully we get everything straightened out for the rest of the week. But, um, yeah, that's going to do it for our community showcase this week. However, stick around. Hold on, I have an announcement to make. I have an announcement to make. We're actually going to load into the zoo. Um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and uh, formally announce our very first um, show or, uh, showcase. We just did a showcase. Our very first community challenge. So we have a big community challenge that myself and Heather have been putting together. And we kind of showed it off um, a few weeks ago a little bit. Um, but yes, we have a community challenge taking place on my Discord for you all to get some building in there. So... Um, for those of you that haven't seen this before, here is the quick little uh, map that I built up in kind of a Greek-Roman kind of theme there. Um, but this is going to be called the Cupid Challenge. So the Cupid Challenge is all taking place right here. This is the area that you have to build in right here. So you can keep the current theme that we have kind of going on here with the kind of Roman, you know, Greek, you know, ancient Rome uh, kind of um, feel there. You can keep that going or you can kind of do something that is related to the theme, but not exactly that theme. Um, but yeah, you have the option to build with, sorry, one second. You have three animals that you can choose from with this. It is going to be the... <laughs> One second here. Where is I have all my notes down. I just don't have them in a order. That there we go. It's gonna either be the flamingo, the red panda, or the yala that you can build for. Okay, so you're gonna have about two weeks to um, build in this area here, and there's gonna be a special section on my Discord for everything. So there's gonna be competition info, uh, competition discussion, and then competition submissions as well. Um, <clears throat> yes, so those of you that want to join in a bit of fun there, you can go ahead and see all those um, Discord channels pop up and yeah let's get some awesome submissions coming in there so let's go over the rules real quick quick overview of the rules so you're going to be building a habitat that does not extend past the barrier given you have got to stay within this barrier here okay um that, so that means if there is a tree that comes over the side here i will delete it if there is a building that comes just a little bit on the outside i will delete the entire building you have got to stay within these barriers right here okay so there is that Where'd my Discord go? There it is. Um, rule two, welfare of the animal is not a requirement. We don't care about the welfare of the animal. You can still build a backstage and make the, you know, build as if there was welfare, but we will not be judging your build um, based on welfare there. 
you are allowed to change the terrain and the terrain paint so right now it is a completely flat area you can go ahead and change um that to be however you like it to be if you want to build a giant pit you can if you want to build a mountain you can um and you can change the painting of it as well to enter your build please upload your build to the steam workshop and make it private so when you upload it there there's a setting to change it to uh public friends only private make it to private for us there um and then please add a minimum of four photos that best show your habitat off since everyone will be voting based on those photos there if you have any questions there'll be um, an area where you can ask more questions and then finally please send a link in uh discord uh direct message to heather um and she will uh kind of take care of everything there so submissions are going to be submitted by <clears throat> are due on march 7th 2021 that is this year so you don't have until next year so that is two weeks that's two sundays from now is when they are due there so there you go um but yeah so there is the general information for the cupid uh build challenge there and this is going to be the first of many challenge builds we're going to kind of um whoever wins this or whoever gets the most votes for their um habitat there we're going to keep your habitat in here and then we're going to continue expanding the zoo off of that so every single uh, month we're going to have a new habitat from a winner um again voted by the community and that habitat will stay in the zoo um and yeah we'll just kind of keep expanding the zoo out with a bunch of the winners um habitats in there so yeah if you're not already be sure to join the discord channel there and um yeah you'll have about two weeks to um build in this big area there and again it's it's not just a habitat you can build a habitat as well as like um backstage and a restaurant and a gift shop you know just a whole area it doesn't have to just be a animal habitat it can just be a animal habitat like area essentially so there you go so yeah that is the big um big competition announcement there and yeah hopefully we see a bunch of you um go ahead and submit things there so um but yeah hey big shout out to um big shout out to all of the uh modders all the creators and everything like that for today's community showcase and uh yeah if you'd like to submit something yourself don't forget to join our discord uh link there and everything and you can submit um anything you want there um whether it's a patch of foliage you know a tree a building a whole zoo a mod you name it there um we will go ahead and take a look at it every saturday at 11 a.m central standard time so hey thanks so much everyone for hanging out thanks for putting up with all the weird technical difficulties today it was it was a bummer <laughs> but uh yeah appreciate you all so much we'll uh go ahead and see you tomorrow as we do some more valheim at 1 p.m central standard time have a good one everyone